The demand for repealment of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act is also gaining momentum fast in Manipur as well. After the Conrad Sangma let NPP put its weight behind the call to scrape the AFSPA, the opposition Congress in the poll-bound state has now raised the issue while taking pot shots at the N. Biryan Singh-led state government. Speaking to North East Live, Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee Working President and MLA K. Megha Chandra Singh said that the Chief Minister N. Biryan Singh should make his stand clear on AFSPA. And not just this, Megha Chandra Singh also raised questions at the NPP's intentions, stating that if the Conrad Sangma-led party was really serious on the issue, it should urge the Chief Minister to call a cabinet meeting to adopt a resolution on the matter. The Congress, meanwhile, promised to repeal what it termed a black law if voted to power. I'm being joined by MPCC Working President Mr. K. Megha Chandra Singh, so welcome to Northeast Live. Well, uh, the demand for repeal of APSPA, besides yes. Nagaland, it is also catching pace in Manipur and the entire Northeast. Two chief ministers, the Nagaland chief minister, Nefurio, Meghalaya chief minister, Conrad Sangma, have openly, openly demanded repeal of APSPA from the entire region. What is the Congress's take on this? Uh, do you have any message for Manipur CM and Biren Singh? Yeah, definitely. The the statement made by uh, our Honorable Chief Minister Sri N. Biren Singh. The statement is not very clear on the on the point that the uh, refilled of the Armed Forces Special for like 1958. So he is just saying very uh, loosely that the he will approach to the uh, these uh, central government. But the thing is that the Armed Forces Special uh, for like this. Is a very draconian law. So uh, these uh, very recently these uh, the incidents of voting there in Nagal and the where these many innocent people killed by the these armed forces. So it's a very unfortunate. So uh, from our uh, side also uh, MPCC we had a press conference on our stand of these uh, uh, AFASPA. So we demand the to the state government as well as to the central government that mm -hmm. the first of all the uh, our demand is the, to uh, leave the uh, uh, this this tough uh, area uh, this it extension is. here in the state so it should be leave immediately it is to the preview of the government of manipur to leave this uh, this tough area status so after this lifting, the uh, this the, the government should this government should uh, approach to the central government to repeal the armed forces special for eight nineteen fifty eight. Mr. Mega Chandra Singh, it is now clear by now that uh, APA issue uh, has 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 uh, become a tool in a way, if I can mention that for election campaigning. The NPP NPP has clearly mentioned that it wants the AFSPA re uh, repealed even before the Nagaland incident when the NPP national president Con Mr. Conrad Sangma visited Manipur yes. he voiced his concern against AFSPA so clearly the AFSPA will be an issue in the upcoming uh, assembly elections will the congress also go all out uh, to, to, to voice its concern against AFSPA ahead of the election. So regarding this NPP, the Kornak Samaj, he has uh, stated his statement. But in our case, in the state of Manipur, the Honorable Chief Minister is not clear on that also. And the NPP, presently, the one of the MLAs of NPP, uh, he, the, he is holding the uh, Deputy Chief Minister's post. So why not this? Uh, why should uh, they, uh, they speak for the next I mean, next time, in the, in the coming, after the election of this 2022, why should he speak like this? Because they are in the government, in the state. So after are you all, saying, are you saying the NPP, if it's serious about uh, uh, repeal of AFSPA, it should, uh, it should threaten to withdraw support from the, from the BJP-led government? I didn't think this the stand is not clear in the state. So it's just promise. They are promised in the last election. Their promise is failed regarding the uh, the uh, EST status to Podamite. And we don't believe uh, that uh, after the next election, they can uh, refill, uh, they can approach to uh, refill uh, the, these upper side. Uh, these. So we don't believe it. And they should call the immediate cabinet meeting. No, it is, uh, it is in the uh, preview of the state. So they can have uh, the cabinet meeting immediately and uh, they can leave these this area 
the status in the state. In, uh, you see, in the during the Congress government, we hardly paid the disturbed area status uh, in the seven assembly segment in the Imphal Delhi. But the NPP and the BJP, we don't have in the their clear stand on it. If they are very serious, then they should have a poll meeting of cabinet. Will the Congress will the Congress try to generate pressure on the government to have? Like in, in, in Nagaland, they're having a special session of the assembly on the AFSPA issue. Will the Congress uh, t- raise this issue? Will the Congress, how will the Congress uh, press on the government the need for repeal of AFSPA? Do you have anything planned? Yes, we have planned. In the, in the list of the, our, this manifesto, which is going to be published very shortly before the election. And at the same time, uh, we, our stand is that uh, we will remove these uh, black laws. If uh, our government comes in the next election, we will put in the uh, agenda of the first cabinet meeting in case we are we are in power in the next election. This is the clear stand of the Congress party. Mm-hmm.